a vaccine that effectively tackles all forms of COVID, a pan-coronavirus vaccine, is being researched at hospitals around the country. You don't have to worry that, well, now it's Delta, now it's Alpha, now it's Beta, now it's Omicron, that no matter how this particular virus mutates, you know that you have a vaccine that covers the common denominator that's common throughout all of those. Currently, we have to boost to raise our protection against new variants. Then all of a sudden, Omicron came along. And if you look at the efficacy against the Delta versus Omicron, it went down to around 30% from around 75, 80. So that when you give a boost to your vaccine, it brings it back up against Omicron. And that's the reason why you hear me and others saying why it's so important to get a booster. A universal shot would eliminate the need for boosters or playing a game of whack-a-mole with future variants by having to develop variant-specific vaccines. The ultimate goal is to develop a vaccine that would protect against all coronaviruses. What's the timeline for this kind of ultimate pan-coronavirus vaccine? Can we get one next year? It's unlikely that we will get one next year for the entire family tree, if you want to call it that. But we can do pretty well within a year or so of getting one against all the different variants. What Dr. Fauci means by family tree is the phylogenetic tree, which usually looks like this, or family of all the coronaviruses. The goal is to react quickly against future pandemics, but that could take some time. Let's go back two years ago. We warp speeded our, we didn't, you did, warp speeded our way to an effective vaccine within what, eight, nine months. Yeah, you know what? Can, can we do the same thing uh -huh. to get to a pan coronavirus vaccine? Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Operation Warp Speed was not a scientific accomplishment, it was a production and clinical trial accomplishment. The science for the vaccine was already in development for Operation Warp Speed. Scientists will have to research what parts of the virus won't mutate and what specific parts of the virus will trigger an immune response for the new pan-coronavirus vaccine. For now, this is what we can expect in the next few months. There are two parallel pathways. Get boosters that work for what we're currently going through and develop a pan-coronavirus vaccine for any future threat of an unknown outbreak of a coronavirus. And Erica joins me live now. So Erica, Dr. Fauci sounds pretty hopeful about a universal vaccine, but historically scientists haven't had a whole lot of luck with them for viruses. Did Dr. Fauci say what makes this one so different? Hey, Allison, you know, that's a really good point. I mean, think about the number of years that we've been waiting for a universal flu vaccine. Right. Um, you know, the momentum is there for the coronavirus, given all the work right now going on uh, in labs and within the companies to research all of these different variants. Like we said, you know, they really need to figure out what part of the virus mutates and makes the illness more dangerous. Now, this will not be easy, of course, but a universal uh, vaccine for a virus is not impossible. Uh, remember, scientists previously developed a highly successful HPV vaccine that we're using now, and that wipes out the majority of cervical cancers. Allison? Erica, Dr. Fauci says he doesn't expect a universal vaccine until next year. I mean, at the rate we're going, every American will have had COVID by then. So could you just explain for our viewers why a universal vaccine could still be important, even if we have to wait another year? Yeah, yeah. So Dr. Fauci thinks that we could, by next year, that we could have a universal vaccine that covers all the variants specific to SARS-CoV-2, not necessarily all of the family, all the entire family tree of the coronaviruses. Um, so it's unlikely that it would be used for this pandemic. That's really just the first step. This is kind of hard to swallow, but what Dr. Fauci is, is thinking is that we need this pan-universal vaccine to prepare for and react to the next viral pandemic when that eventually occurs. Allison. Oh, I hate to think about it, but hope we have the tools to fight it when it's here. Erica, thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.